All right, in this new wave of biohacking and holistic wellness, alternative practices continue to become more popular. Red light therapy has been researched and is said to have positive results. Joining us live with more on this is best-selling author, Dr. Greg Hammer from Stanford School of Medicine. Dr. Hammer, thanks for being here with us today. Great to be with you. I don't know if that's a live view behind you, but... Uh... It's not. We're pretending. Um, it is really nice yes. today outside. Usually it's very rainy, which kind of brings us to red light therapy. I know that right now, if you go on TikTok or Instagram, you see people installing like red light panels in their house or influencers wearing the masks over their face. Can you talk to us about what red light therapy is and the benefits that it may have on us? Sure. Well, you know, of course, light is the spectrum of the uh, of ambient electromagnetic radiation to which our eyes are sensitive, okay? And so there's blue light, which is the short wavelength, higher energy light that is at one end of the spectrum, and that has physiologic effects on us. It wakes us up, it activates our circadian rhythm. That's why we don't want too much blue light when we're trying to go to sleep from our computers and so on. On the other end of the spectrum of the visible light spectrum is red light. Red light is longer wavelength, and red light has a variety of other effects on our physiology compared to blue light. So a uh, very interesting uh, topic. And um, yeah, it's uh, something that was discovered by NASA in the 90s. They were using red light to uh, enhance the growth of potatoes. And the astronauts noticed that the little nicks and scratches on their skin were healing more quickly. So that's sort of the genesis of where the benefits of red light therapy started. And it seems like with social media, it's catching on now. You see a lot of people who maybe you trust, maybe you are influenced by kind of buying these devices. Is there any sort of buyer beware advice you, you can provide us? Should you buy some of these? Is there certain things you should look for if you are investing? Well, you know, I think that, um, so the benefits of red light therapy that are most well demonstrated, let's say, are those involving the skin. So red light sort of activates the little energy producing uh, factories inside our cells called mitochondria. Mitochondria produce more uh, energy when they're exposed to red light. And to the extent that red light is first hitting our skin, the benefits are, are most apparent on our skin as, as with the original astronauts finding that the nicks and scratches on their skin were healing faster. So redness, scarring, acne, maybe even fine wrinkles. So which devices are most effective? Really, it's the more powerful devices. And so it's a bit of a quandary because when you go online, you'll, of course, read all these dramatic uh, benefits associated with a particular device. And uh, how do we know whether those are really genuine? And, and the fact is, we don't. And so I think do your homework, look at the power output, and you're probably going to have to spend a little bit of money to get red light devices that are on par with what you might see in a spa or a dermatologist's mm -hmm. office. Okay, and in our last 10 seconds, is there anywhere where if somebody's watching this at home, if they're interested in red light therapy, learning more about it, anywhere you can direct them to go? Well, I would just go online and search red light therapy and then go to reliable sources like the Cleveland Clinic and other uh, you know, major well-reputed uh, medical centers that have their own little blurbs on red light therapy. All right, Dr. Hammer, thanks so much for joining us today to talk Great about Great to be with you as always. Thanks so much.